return an uh, ns string write ns string over here right and the other the other stuff uh, should be should be easy first we name the function and then we name the argument the same thing over here we have two arguments so we have to write two names and two arguments this is the type of the argument and this is the name of the argument we're going to use inside the function so we're going to copy this command C and paste over here whoops not this okay and now we're going to write the code that is going to switch the views and we're going to use the objective C animations well Xcode provided us with some basic animation it uses inside the, uh, its applications and you're going to see how easy it is going to be to implement them and make our application uh, nice looking begin animations animation we don't want any context over here so we'll write null UI view set animation duration now we specify how long our animation is going to take and the set animation duration UI view now we want to specify what type of animation we're going to we're, we're going to call so we use for this set animation transition and we want our application to flip so we type UI view animation transition flip from left for view we want our window so window catchy yes we're going to remember our animation window add sub view view to UI view commit animations so what I just did here, first I told Xcode we're going to begin some animations, mm -hmm. next I told Xcode how long our animations are going to take, next I told Xcode uh, what type of animation we're going to call, next I did the actual what, what is going to happen uh, and what we're going to animate and then I animated our animations. Whoops, I forgot about one thing. view 1, remove from super view we want the first view to be removed from super view and this is it for the app delegate coding now we're going to do some stuff over here when we when the user presses the button we want uh, the app the function from the app delegate class to be called so to do this we're going to declare the app delegate tutorial free app delegate delegate uh, tutorial free app delegate UI appli whoops. application shared application delegate this is uh, the code that calls our delegate uh, class now I'm going to declare the second view controller second view second view controller block in it with nib name second view controller bundle nil and to call an application from delegate first we type delegate switch view and the function we just wrote appears over here switch view so view to view second view dot view and the same thing we're going to write over here whoops I forgot about one thing we need to add the H headers inside here because if we don't add them we're going to receive some errors you see we received five errors over here because Xcode doesn't know uh, what type of the class was just declared over here 
So we need to import the app delegate H header file, so to app delegate, and we need to import the second view controller header files. Now everything is working just fine. So we do the same thing over here, tutorial free app delegate, delegate equals, oops, not this, app delegate, UI applic, oops, share the application delegate, first view controller, first view, first view controller a lock in it with nib name first view controller bundle nil delegate switch view so view to view first view dot view and we're going to check if everything is done. See, I didn't ins I didn't uh, write the I didn't import the uh, header files, so I received some errors. It's very essential to remember to insert the header files, or else Xcode won't recognize the actual class that's going to be called. And now everything is working just fine. And we're going to play around with the interface builder. We're going to call up the first zip file and we're going to add a UI label and a button. We're going to edit the text. This is the first view controller. Swap views. Now we're going to, when the user presses the button, so it's touch up inside, we want some action to be called, so we connect it to files owner and swap views. We save our zip file and enter the second view controller zip file, and we do the same thing over here. We drag a UI label and a UI button. This is the second view controller swap views 